This morning, harrowing accounts of the moment this high-rise crane came crashing down onto a bridge in Fort Lauderdale, crushing one car and hitting another. Mark Serveson was inside that Tesla. It hit the front of my car. It, it was like slow motion. I couldn't believe that I was still alive. We were driving to the museum, so the construction was to the right. On the right, we saw this... Um, Crane. Becker says she was just seconds from being in the path of the collapse. In the car with her young daughter, she says she saw the crane sway, then fall. And it was kind of like in a horror movie, you know, because you don't understand uh, how heavy it is till it reaches the ground. And in this case, it reached the car. And um, it was uh, very scary and very um, surreal. A construction worker who fell with the crane was killed. Three people on the ground suffered minor injuries. At the time, officials say the operator was in the process of hoisting a piece of the crane to the top of a nearby building under construction. It was not the crane per se that actually failed. It was a platform that they had equipment staged on that had failed at the time of the incident. The investigation now shifts to what went wrong with that platform. Behind us, it was a school bus. And I just grabbed my kid, so it's 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 crazy feeling. As a mom, I can tell you that you need to appreciate every day with your kid. And that bridge is closed until engineers determine whether it's safe. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.